What a powerful tribute to the king of rock and roll. And it's time for us to put on our blue suede shoes and get this show started. This is Mr. Supranational 2023. Szanowni Państwo, to było niesamowite, a to dopiero początek. Dobry wieczór, Nowy Sącz. Dobry wieczór, Polsko. Let's welcome my glamorous co-host, Joe Ann Strauss. Good evening. What a pleasure to be here. And ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to say to my co-host, show your love for Martin Fitch. Come on, everybody. Oh, I hear it. Thank you. This is just amazing to share a stage with you. We're welcoming all of our viewers from across the world watching with us right here in Novi Sanj, Małopolska. Tonight we are celebrating all these aspirational, inspirational men, but only one can be named Mr. Supranational. In just a few hours, we're going to find out who will be the next brand ambassador of the Mr. Supranational organization. Last year, a young man from Cuba won the hearts of the people here in Poland and of course across the world, but also the panel of judges with his beautiful soul. And we are delighted, his character, his integrity, all of that. He's here tonight and we are going to be honoring him, welcoming him back tonight home. So a big, big welcome to him. Please show some love for our Mr. Supranational 2022, Luis Daniel Galvez. He made an impact during this uh, past year and tonight he is joining our panel of experts. Welcome. She was crowned Miss Supranational in 2016 right here in Małopolska and she has become a very, very, very special part of the Supra family since then. Ladies and gentlemen, Srinidhi Shetty from India. Crowned here exactly a few days ago, actually, uh, our reigning Miss Supranational 2023, Andrea Aguirre from Ecuador! She started as a beauty queen and used the platform um, to break into the entertainment industry. Nowy Sąż, Polsko, let's hear it for Polsat TV presenter Marcelina Zawadzka. A true expert in the area of beauty and fashion and representative of our partner Jewelry Schubert Group, please welcome Robert Chepiel. From Barbados, welcome the sensational Chantel! And finally, the man that works day and night to make this show the running of it, the founder, the creator, the president and the CEO of the Miss and Mr. Supranational Organization. Please put your hands together for Gerhard Parzutka von Lempinski. We are coming to you from beautiful Nowy Sąż in the heart of Małopolska, where dreams have come true these past few years. Jest z nami jak co roku prezydent miasta Nowy Sąż, pan Ludomir Hanzel. Powitajmy go brawami. Nie zapominajmy o naszych partnerach, których wsparcie pozwoliło przygotować dzisiejsze wydarzenie. Fundatorem Nagrody Głównej jest sponsor programu, producent wody mineralnej Muszynianka. Fundatorem Nagrody jest sponsor programu, właściciel marki Motus. Fundatorem Nagrody w programie jest jego sponsor, właściciel marki Prezydent. Fundatorem Nagród jest sponsor programu Jubiler Schubert. Are you ready to meet our candidates? Are you all ready, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, wonderful. Let's welcome our first group of contenders.
Mr. Argentina. Mr. Belgium. Mr. Brazil. Mr. Cambodia. Mr. Cameroon. Mr. Canada. Mr. Cuba. Mr. Czech Republic. Mr. Equatorial Guinea. Mr. France. Mr. Greece. Mr. India. Mr. Korea. Mr. Malaysia. A round of applause for our candidates in the individual presentations.
was only the first half and already the emotions are super high. You guys have got so much energy, so much happiness backstage and each of these gentlemen representing their countries with such honor and such pride. Group two, are you ready to rock that stage? <laughs> Miss Venezuela, Mr. Venezuela, I want to ask you a question. Your time here in Małopolska, what did you enjoy the most about this region in Poland? Well, I really enjoy all my weeks uh, here and uh, what I must enjoy was uh, the people here are very, very kind. Thank you so much, Mali Posca, for receiving us here and enjoy this great and unique opportunity. Fantastic! <laughs> Bosca, I think we can be sure to say that they're all going to be coming back soon in the future. Their time here in Mali Posca was filled with adrenaline. Let's have a look at what these guys got up to. Yeah, I like adrenaline because this is something, you know, which motivates you, which gives you confidence to, you know, do your best. And it's really necessary for you to survive. Oh, I love adrenaline. So every time that I have a free time, I just go and skydive, just go and surf, skateboarding. It's my, it's my thing. Well, uh, I, I think that every single uh, man needs a company, needs a team. So. I think for a man it's necessary to have a team and I'm really grateful to, uh, to have a team like this and uh, go for a ride with them. I'm really grateful. Masculinity you can show of course with muscles, but muscles is not the most important thing. I think um, being a gentleman also belongs to being a masculine. Masculinity for me is about being responsible and uh, being confident in your own skin as a man. I believe being a man is also about taking care of other people's um, weaknesses, sharing your strengths with other people and also sharing your weaknesses so that other people help you. So true masculinity is being confident as a man, uh, being confident to also receive help and being confident to give help as well. It looks like they had a fantastic time and we know that a strong brotherhood was formed. Now it's time to meet the rest of our candidates. Mr. Mexico! Mr. Namibia! Mr. Nepal! Mr. Netherlands! Mr. Panama! Mr. Peru! Mr. Philippines! Mr. 
Bienvenido a Puerto Rico. Mr. Slovakia. Mr. South Africa! Mr. Trinidad and Tobago! Mr. United States of America! Mr. Venezuela! for our candidates in the individual presentations. to miss the Supranational 2023! exceptional group of competitors we have tonight. I'm glad I'm not in the panel of experts. Mm -hmm. I think they will have an exceptionally difficult task ahead. While we give them time though to form their first opinions and do some deliberation, let's show our gratitude to our very generous sponsors again. Fundatorem Nagrody Głównej jest sponsor programu, producent wody mineralnej Muszynianka. Fundatorem nagrody jest sponsor programu, właściciel marki Motus. Fundatorem nagrody w programie jest jego sponsor, właściciel marki Prezydent. Fundatorem nagród jest sponsor programu Jubiler Schubert. It's time for us to relax a little bit with some great entertainment by a very talented young woman. I'm sure you are going to love this performance. Szanowni Państwo, przed nami niezwykle utalentowana, pochodząca z Polski piosenkarka, której twórczość podbija listy przebojów na całym świecie. It's Daria! Just come and put your arms around And sing to me, I like that sound Like that sound When you sing to me Hold me now I know 
told me life there's no way out If you can prove it, show me out Show me out What lies in between We gonna live the good life every day No matter what the cynics say Sometimes they made to keep our feelings safe Sometimes our life's the only way If you want it Absolutely. Now, body confidence is something we all strive towards. And these men have been spe spending the last couple of weeks eating clean, being fed, doing all kinds of things that are good for their body. Because research has, of course, shown that a healthy body, a healthy mind, that's what you need for success. And I can promise you that our 34 men were working very hard to show you all they have. So, I can see everyone's getting Are excited in the audience, yes. Are you all ready Are in the audience? Ready? Let's start dancing!
car les problèmes ne viennent pas seuls. Qui dit crise de l'immonde, dit famille et dit tiers monde, qui dit fatigue dit réveil, encore celle de la veille, et alors on sort pour oublier tous les problèmes. Alors on danse. 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 It's time to meet the incredible choreographer who has spent the last few days making this magic happen. It's the one and only Tomasz Barański. Thank you once again for preparing those amazing routines. Absolutely, I think there's quite literally and figuratively a heat wave here in Novosage tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, these experiences though are not just about their physical appeal. Each candidate has had a very different path that eventually led them to hear our Mr. Supranational platform. Let's hear more about it from them. I 
Spanish hospitality. I had no idea how the culture was going to be, but it's definitely very good. I'm actually having a great experience at the hotel that we're staying in. It's definitely giving me a really good experience, feeling like home. My travel for Poland was not uh, so lucky because uh, my, my luggage rests in uh, Vienna and uh, I've, uh, I had to wait uh, two days for, uh, for taking back in my hotel. Infraestructura que hay en todos los edificios, en las casas, no lo tenía contemplado eso, es muy bonito. Todas las calles, cómo están hechas, la ciudad en general es muy bonita. Uh, since I'm from Slovakia and we are neighbors in Poland and I live uh, just a few kilometers from the borders, uh, in Poland it doesn't surprise me almost anything because uh, we are always the same, we know each other from the news and uh, I uh, visit Polska so much. Yeah, the people here in Poland are very respectful, dedicated and very kind. Uh, I feel like at home here in Poland and I'm so happy to be here. Now let's give it up for our second group of contenders in their beachwear. Are you ready? Are you really ready? Let's hit it! Don't you agree? Who wants to go to sleep when I get you? 
I think it's time for me to hit the gym. Uh, Martin, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at your energy, your physicality. I'm right behind you there, Martin. I think I'm, I'm quite inspired. There's no doubt that each candidate here worked hard to achieve such body confidence and, of course, strength. I also feel inspired. I think we do realize health is the new wealth. So I want to intensify my gym workout, and the next time I'll show you my biceps. I think we need to cool down a bit, Joanne. Yes, we do. Ale zainspirowani razem z Joanne skoczymy szybko na siłownię, więc już za chwilę dalsza część naszego show. Wracamy do Państwa po krótkiej przerwie. Do zobaczenia w Polsacie. Wspaniałą przygodę i odkrył dla siebie coś wyjątkowego. Zachwycające miejsca, które sprawią, że poczujesz się wolny i zaczniesz patrzeć na świat zupełnie inaczej. Co by było, gdybyś znalazł się w miejscach, o których słyszałeś, ale nie miałeś okazji ich odwiedzić? w których poczujesz spokój, radość i chęć do działania. W miejscach, gdzie natura współgra z człowiekiem, pozwala zwolnić tempo i dać sobie prawo do relaksu. A gdybyś przeniósł się do krainy, 
niezapomnianych emocji i pozytywnej energii, które na długo pozostaną w pamięci. Co by było, gdybyś na co dzień mógł obcować z kulturą i sztuką, które kształtują wrażliwość i inspirują w codziennym życiu? Gdybyś zobaczył to, co zachwyca swoim pięknem i przypomina o sprawach w życiu najważniejszych. Co by było, gdybyś znalazł miejsce, w którym możesz być sobą? Gdzie czujesz się szczęśliwy i bezpieczny? Co by było, gdybyś mógł nazwać to miejsce domem? Co by było, gdybyś został tu na dłużej?
One interesting fact about me is that I have been a passion fan for over three years now. And within that time frame, I went from being an at-home content creator to now a contestant. It has been such a fulfilling journey for me and it allowed me to meet some of the most inspiring people within this community. I have been able to work closely with international organizations, to coach contestants, to interview title holders. Even firsthand, all the beauty and the potential within this industry is truly what inspired me to become a contestant and participate at Mr. Supernational this year. An interesting fact about myself is that I grew up in a family full of different languages. So the fact is that I can speak seven different languages, which means that I can speak Netherlands, English, Italiano, Deutsch, Francais, Espanol, and Turche. Yeah, there are so many things that are very interesting about me. But one I would say is my personality and my uh, academic excellence, yeah. Because with the kind of personality I have, many people don't feel I was serious with school and all that. But yeah, despite being into lifestyle and entertainment, my personality, I was able to balance being a jovial, outgoing, happy guy and also being very serious with my studies and coming out with good grades. I mean, yes. I am a shy person. I never thought and dare to do anything out of the box or leave the comfort zone before in life. After the decision, finally, I am stand here in the front of everyone as Mr. Super National Thailand 2023. And it will define this way, not stop like this. Because I will go to the position of Mr. Super National 2023. About 10 years ago, when someone offered me the opportunity to do something new, my answer was that they will always receive it. Thank you, but I can't do it. I always choose to do what I feel. It is safe and quiet. Try not to be the center of attention like an introvert. But when I realize that there is more to life for us to try live to make it work, it is today is the last day of your life. After that, whatever I used to think was difficult that I could not do, I awoke how fear to do it. The interesting fact about myself is that I'm a coffee enthusiast. I don't drink instant coffee, and usually with my cappuccino, I have five espresso shots with it. My local coffee spot calls it a Milan special and even has it on their menu. Because of the love and passion that I have for coffee, I recently started my own coffee roasting brand in order for me to have the perfect cup at home. I am an animal lover, so I used to have a lot of pets. And when I'm in pets, it means 
reptiles. I used to have snake, crocodile, iguanas, and also tortoise. And one day, one of my snake is sneaking out from his cage, and it's totally disaster. And the day after, all of my neighbors not allowed me to keep them any longer. So now, I have a cat. So I guess, I'm back to normal, right? An interesting fact about me is that all my life, I dreamed of studying a university degree related with health, as can be medicine or pharmacy. But for different reasons, I could not do it. And my life took a 180 degree turn as I'm now industrial engineer. A fact that I'm proud of because it was a very difficult challenge for me. What you should know about me is that I love to cook. Um, it's really some kind of therapy for me. I can't really give you a specialty dish that I regularly cook. Um, I'm more the kind of cook that sees ingredients here, sees some leftovers there, puts it together and turns it into a delicious meal. Um, nobody has ever complained about my dishes, so I think I'm quite, quite good at it. So yeah, thank you. So one fact interesting about me is that I was not able to swim like 100 meters before I was doing triathlons. So I had to actually fight my fear of the water and actually I had to become one with the water like Bruce Lee said. So actually right now I'm training in the water, I feel like home in the water and before I was doing triathlons I was afraid of the water. So right now it was a big step for me and actually I'm proud of it. In life we are able to do what we want to do. Indeed, I opened my restaurant, but in reality, I'm a bad cooker. It is more than a story of a bad cooker in a restaurant. It, it shows that even your sector, you can do this. Even where you start in life, the difficulty of your sector, you can do this. It's about you to have luck, and luck is about hard work. Work a lot to establish this restaurant of fast food for the front monsieur, even I have, I have not the basis on restoration. At the beginning, I am not a cooker, but I work a lot, I learn a lot, and now it's not a talent, it's just, like I said, hard work. To create my recipe, to learn about the sector. The best footballer is not the best at the beginning. It's the same for cooker. We're wide open for wellness, for body and mind, to relax, to rest, take a deep breath and feel reborn, catch some sun, then find your rhythm, explore new ground to embrace the soothing power of nature. Find your path, surrounded by history and culture. And enjoy the journey. Experience Krakow. Visit Małopolska. Teraz przed Państwem Two Colors. Let's give it up for Two Colors! Your own crowd. It's time to tell 
Dancing, thanks to that energetic performance of Two Colors. Welcome back to our viewers from all over the world. Witamy również widzów telewizji Polsat. Let me now hand over to my co-host Joanne Strauss, who is backstage and will share a little bit of inside scoop about what happens there on a night like this. That's right, Martin. Here we are backstage, but I'm not alone. I'm joined by two fantastic gentlemen, Mr. Malaysia and Mr. Italy. And I've got some important questions for them because I do think they're having great hair days now. What would you say, Mr. Malaysia? What is some of the best hair advice you can give people out there who want to achieve a sort of similar look to what you have? I think the best way that you can style your hair is by having it an elegant upwards way so you can look clean and perfect if perfection do exist. I like that if perfection does exist, but I think you guys are getting pretty close. Mr. Italy, I want to ask you then, what would you say, how has it been the last couple of weeks working with our professional hairstylists? In these days, uh, I felt uh, really safe uh, with this professional uh, uh, hairstylist. And uh, also, uh, the first day, we received a gift uh, with many products of uh, Ref. And uh, I, I used it uh, for all the days because they are really good. Uh, and um, makes uh, my hairstyle the best uh, of uh, every, every time. Fantastic, there you have it. I think already two very good brand ambassadors. And this again is another chance for me to just say a huge thank you to all of our sponsors who really make this all possible. Fundatorem Nagrody Głównej jest sponsor programu, producent wody mineralnej Muszynianka. Fundatorem Nagrody jest sponsor programu, właściciel marki Motus. Fundatorem Nagrody w programie jest jego sponsor, właściciel marki Prezydent. Fundatorem nagród jest sponsor programu Jubiler Schubert. Od wielu dni Małopolska jest stolicą piękna. To właśnie niepowtarzalna gościnność tego regionu wywarła największe wrażenie na kandydatach z całego świata. Each of our candidates has their own aspirational goals, but we ask them about what is really important for them in their lives. Here's what they said. Hi Sasha. <laughs> Who do I love the most? I love uh, my fiance is my number one. You're the one. What makes me happy is coffee makes me happy. <laughs> no, okay, serious. Um, basketball, basketball. I try to love myself uh, because when I love myself and I look into the mirror and I say, hey, you're a nice guy. I love my mother, I love my family, I, like I said, I love my job, I love the kids where I, where I work for. I do love uh, my life right now. I love my mother. The person that I love the most, it has to be my mom. She has sacrificed so much to give me the opportunities that I have today in life. 
and for me to be where I am today. So of course, when I think of that one very, very special person, it has to be her. Most thing I love is what my mother learned to me, to be empathetic with other, like to push yourself in the shoes of other thanks to this. You can more understand the other people around you. My hero for to the contest competition, uh, I like to move in the Top Gun. Do you know uh, uh, Tom Cruise, right? Yes, I like him so much. My main inspiration is actually my nephew. He was diagnosed with thalassemia when he was just six months old. And that's also the reason why I created my miracle a movement of solidarity and also a movement of charity for children like him. I take inspiration from every person that I can take from. I learn from every person. I even learn from nature, the animals. So yeah, it's basically overall experience. My life goal is to uh, give a trace, whether it be God, just, just like Nelson Mandela. Well, everyone makes me happy and lots of love makes me happy because right now I am in Mr. Supra National 2023 and every Supra Brothers from all over the world is giving me so much of love that I feel really confident. And right now I'm smiling just because of this environment. Yeah, let's do it again. So can talk more.
the moment of truth has arrived. In just a few moments, we are going to meet our Mr. Supernational 2023. Martin, I believe that you have the magic envelope there, and I can't even imagine all the pressure that our candidates are feeling right now. I wish you could feel the stage. It does feel quite electric. Absolutely, I do have the golden envelope. Let's not prolong this moment. Fantastic. So, our first one. The first one to make it to the top 20 as the winner of the Supra Chat online interview challenge is Mr. Canada! You are one step closer. This is the winner of our top model challenge, and he is Mr. Korea. Being able to interact with your supporters is extremely important. And the winner of our social media influencer challenge is Mr. Malaysia. Let's give it up. Now entering our top 20 is Mr. Netherlands. Fifth one on the board is Mr. Supranational. Philippines. The next to advance to the top 20 is Mr. United States of America. It's time for you, Mr. Czech Republic. Come and take your place in the top 20, Mr. Mexico. The next man to secure his place in the top 20 is Mr. Supranational, Trinidad and Tobago. Congratulations on making it to the top 20, Mr. Thailand. Let's give it up to Mr. Italy. You have earned this spot, mister. And you are Mr. Supranational. Panama. The next man to take his spot in the top 20 is... Mr. Brazil! And now, it is time for... 
Mr. Spain. Congratulations, you made it, Mr. Cameroon. Cameroon, it Mr. Cameroon. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's all give it up for Mr. Poland. <laughs> Still in the running is Mr. The next candidate to advance is Mr. Supranational France. I give you the honor. I love that because the 19th spot goes to Mr. South Africa. There is only one spot left, but a lot of candidates still waiting to fill it in. Only one of them will. The last to secure his place in the top 20 is... Mr. Supranational, Indonesia! This is indeed such a wonderful moment for them. But ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate our top 20 now. Big applause to them and an even bigger applause to the rest of our 14 gentlemen who gave so much of themselves. Thank you so much and we applaud you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. You were amazing. Now that we know who our top 20 are, let's give them a minute to cool down and we'll take a look on how they recharge their energy levels by spending time in one of the most scenic spots of Małopolska. Now that we know who our top 20 are, let's give them a minute to cool down and we'll take a look at how they recharge their energy levels by spending time in one of the most scenic spots of Małopolska. I love being in the nature, it uh, gives me kind of peace, I can say, either with friends or with my dog, um, just sitting in the nature, looking at the sky, breathing like fresh air, that makes me happy. Lo más increíble de conectar con la naturaleza es reencontrarse consigo mismo, eso es lo más importante, ya que estamos acostumbrados a vivir en grandes ciudades, donde estamos metidos en un sistema 
que convive en internet, que convive en un montón de situaciones que intoxican al ser humano. Por eso cuando estamos solos en un campo, en las montañas, frente a un árbol, respirando aire puro, es lo más hermoso y es el premio más grande que el mundo nos puede dar. While our candidates take a moment to prepare for the immense effort that the next parts require, we could do with some very good vibes. Don't you think that's right, Martin? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, I cannot wait to hear them. Let's give it up for Effie and Ben Bimai performing for us tonight. Hello, everyone. I didn't know I was thinking Not so long in days were shaking up It was an innocent uh, uh, uh. I was on the cold side of the bed And you were running around in my head It was an innocent heart uh, yeah. While you were far away I got a little bit confused I miss you every day And you, ooh, ooh. you stole my heart from the start It was only six seconds Yeah, I slipped up, I don't break up I've been on the wrong side of this I just want affection, just crave some attention I'm losing my way You are my star, I've gone too far It was only six seconds Shows while I stay at home alone in this cruise. It was an innocent uh, 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 uh. Yeah. And I'm a man in need of human warmth. Why are you hiding high up in the stars? It was an innocent uh, uh, uh. While you're far away, I got a little bit confused. I missed you every day. And you, you saw my heart. Start. It was only six seconds Yeah, I slipped up, I don't break up I've been on the wrong side of this I just want affection, just give some attention I'm losing my way, you are my star I've gone too far It was only six seconds They clearly have outstanding talent. I think I really, really enjoyed that. That was Be My and Effie for you live from Novisange. I totally agree. I love the band. But now let's get back to our candidates. During their stay here in Małopolska, they visited lots of beautiful places just to get to know our host region of Małopolska. And we made sure they had fun doing it. Let's take a look. Boys will be boys, the inner childs come up. So I think here it's it's a competition, but there's also a brotherhood and that brings up the child in a man. I'm very childish. Um, I try to be respectful of other people. I don't want to pull pranks on anybody and be weird, but um, I feel like people always want to like grow up and be mature, but at the end of the day, like we're all children inside, and so it's fun to be silly and just have fun. If I could say something to myself, 
a younger version of myself it's always to believe like to be the best version of you doesn't matter what you are going through that you should always doesn't matter what life throws at you that you should always overcome you, you are made uh, for a victorious life and a prosperous life our panel of experts will now have the almost impossible task of selecting just 10 of our contenders to move forward to the next round. But before we do that, I think it's time to give our viewers a chance once more to have a look at our wonderful, wonderful Mr. Supranational finalists. Absolutely. They will be performing back on stage. But I can tell you it's not going to be an ordinary show. It's going to be a real party. So let's give it up for our top 20. <laughs>
Twenty incredible men have truly made us proud, and I can say their energy is so contagious. I see everyone is having a great time in here, and they truly have a good reason to party. They have made it through to the next round of the Mr. Supernational 2023 final show. While we give them a moment to celebrate, let's thank our sponsors who make tonight's show possible. Fundatorem Nagrody Głównej jest sponsor programu, producent wody mineralnej Muszynianka. Fundatorem Nagrody jest sponsor programu, właściciel marki Motus. Fundatorem Nagrody w programie jest jego sponsor, właściciel marki Prezydent. Fundatorem Nagród jest sponsor programu Jubiler Schubert. Jesteśmy ciekawi, czy publiczność zgromadzona w amfiteatrze w Nowym Sączu ma swoje typy na mistera? Słyszę Polska, czy słyszę jeszcze jakiś inny kraj? Spain. Spain. I, I see she looks very excited about Spain. Fantastic. Yeah, we have our favorite. We do. I see a big, big flag there for South Africa, Spain, Brazil also. Everyone is celebrating, but I think Poland. How's Poland feeling? Wonderful. Now, while we give our panel of experts time to submit their nominations for our top 10, let's welcome back. We are welcoming back our former Miss Supranational. I think that makes us particularly proud and one of Poland's most successful music artists to the Supra stage. Nowy Sąd, let's hear it for Monika Lewczuk. We were good, we were gold, kind of dream that can be sold. We were right till we weren't, build a home and watch it burn. I didn't want to leave you, I didn't want to lie. Started to cry, but then remembered I, I can buy myself flowers. Me better than you can. 
We are so proud of how Monica used the platform mm -hmm. to achieve success in the music industry. However, we have an important task to compete. In my hands, there is an envelope with top 10. Only 10 gentlemen, of course, advancing to our next round. And it is time to find out just who they are. I think there's a lot of excitement. There's lots of nerves. But it's time to welcome them back to the stage with a huge round of applause. Give it up for them. Here they are. Mm -hmm, they are excited. Good energy, gentlemen. Good energy. There we go. It is clear that our audience have their favourites. These men have worked very hard to be where they are right now. Are you ready to get to know our top 10? I am, absolutely, Martin. So let's do it. Let's find out who is one step closer to that title. All right. The first candidate to advance to the top 10 is the winner of Supra Fan Vote, and it's Mr. Malaysia. One step closer to becoming the Mr. Supranational brand ambassador is Mr. Ecuador. Come and take your spot, Mr. The panel of experts have decided to honor your hard work, and you are Mr. Korea. Welcome to the top 10, Mr. Mexico! Moving ahead is Mr. Supranational. Cameroon. The man that will take the seventh spot will now be announced. Please give it up for Mr. Czech Republic. As the number of available spots decreases, the tension is truly becoming more and more palpable. You are going to be a very, very happy Mr. Brazil! Only two spots left. Congratulations. You're in the top 10, Mr. Supranational Thailand. And 
finally, the last spot is taken up by Mr. Supranational. Whose name am I going to call out last? Do you have your favorites? Can maybe if you scream loudly enough, I can call his name. Who's your favorite? Who's okay. Okay, okay, let's see if we're gonna make you happy because it is Mr. Netherlands. <laughs> Congratulations to all the candidates who advanced to top 10 and of course a very warm thank you to all of those men who didn't make it. Thank you so much guys, you were truly spectacular, thank you. We wish you all very, very best. The 10 candidates standing in front of you are a true reflection of what it means to be aspirational and inspirational. Let's celebrate all of their dedication and determination one more time. Już za chwilę wszystko stanie się jasne. Kto zostanie nowym misterem Supranational 2023? Czy będzie to Mr. Malaysia? Czy będzie to Mr. Ecuador? Spain? Mr. Korea? Mr. Mexico? Mr. Cameroon? Mr. Czech Republic? Mr. Brazil? Mr. Thailand? Czy Mr. Netherlands? Do zobaczenia po przerwie. Zostańcie Państwo z Polsatem. Co by było, gdybyś wyruszył w podróż do niezwykłych miejsc, przeżył wspaniałą przygodę i odkrył dla siebie coś wyjątkowego? Zachwycające miejsca, które sprawią, że poczujesz się wolny i zaczniesz patrzeć na świat zupełnie inaczej. Co by było, gdybyś znalazł się w miejscach, o których słyszałeś, ale nie miałeś okazji ich odwiedzić? W których poczujesz spokój, radość i chęć do działania? W miejscach, gdzie natura współgra z człowiekiem, pozwala zwolnić tempo i dać sobie prawo do relaksu. A 
gdybyś przeniósł się do krainy niezapomnianych emocji i pozytywnej energii, które na długo pozostaną w pamięci. Co by było, gdybyś na co dzień mógł obcować z kulturą i sztuką, które kształtują wrażliwość i inspirują w codziennym życiu? Gdybyś zobaczył to, co zachwyca swoim pięknem i przypomina o sprawach w życiu najważniejszych. Co by było, gdybyś znalazł miejsce, w którym możesz być sobą? Gdzie czujesz się szczęśliwy i bezpieczny? Co by było, gdybyś mógł nazwać to miejsce domem? Co by było, gdybyś został tu na dłużej? One interesting fact about myself is, is I'm a movie fanatic. Ever since a young age, I've always been fascinated with the creativity and the production behind movies. I was that one kid that watches a movie over and over and over again. Up to today, I still have my very own DVD collection. And yes, even though DVDs seem to be outdated, I still try to get my hand on one or two DVDs where I can. Currently, I'm sitting on 818 DVDs. My goal is to reach a thousand before I die. And alongside all of this is my passion is to one day hopefully direct and produce my very own feature film. So up to today, I have written five of my very own feature films as well as seven short films, which I hope to one day produce and direct in the future. One interesting fact about me is that I grew up living with my grandma as my parents were separated when I was three years old. Through the experience of living without caring parents, I have encountered, can't left, obstacle, yet I always stay strong, support myself, and come to the city, follow my dream, in order to accomplish my goal in the future. Since I was a kid, I've always dreamed of being an Olympic athlete. I started swimming when I was 10 years old, and almost 15 years later, after a lot of ups and downs, I achieved that goal in the 2016 Olympic Games. I had the chance to swim an Olympic final at home against Michael Phelps in his last race before retirement. This was definitely one of the best moments of my life. When I have something to do, when I take a decision to do something, I give this decision passion. I give passion. So, interesting fact about me is that I fight to get that I want. I fight to I fight to get that I want. I do the um, impossible to get that I want because I think that when you have a, an, an objective, you have to get it. If you can get it, you have to point of view because you fight to get it. So it's interesting fact about me. I fight to get that I want. Um, the fact about myself that may be interesting is that I love Lion the King, it's my favorite movie. So a fun fact about me is that I moved 43 times in my whole life. I know that's crazy, but I was moving between countries and cities and that helped me to be who I am. Of course, there's a downside, but there's a lot of good things that I learned from it. I know how to, to, to adapt, I know how to be flexible and I get I didn't know a lot of places because of this. And yeah, I, I'm grateful for it. And another fun thing is that I do fast 20 to 23 hours and I eat one time a day. One interesting thing about myself is that I'm, I'm, I'm not an English native speaker, but I've spent one year um, training for the, the world's biggest um, international arbitration mood and uh, how to play it before um, many people in English and I'm pretty happy of what I did. I know my English is not perfect, but one interesting fact about me is I never had an English class before. So I learned listening to music, watching movies, and talking with people who really talk in English. 
Incluso es, esta entrevista podría ser más fácil en español, but that's my personality. I love to take risks and I'm still learning. We're wide open for wellness, for body and mind, to relax, to rest, take a deep breath and feel reborn, catch some sun, then find your rhythm, explore new ground, to embrace the soothing power of nature. Find your path, surrounded by history and culture, and enjoy the journey. Experience Krakow. Visit Małopolska. Wide open for culture, for fun and adventure, and priceless treasure. For the art of masters, old colors and flavors, to share memories and celebrate life. Offering vibrant local culture, history, architecture, and a land that is yours to explore. Experience Krakow. Visit Małopolska. Wide open for food lovers, welcoming you with fresh tastes, savory dishes, tasty street food, and refreshing drinks. Fusion flavors, traditional favorites, locally grown and served with pride. Enjoy the atmosphere and taste life at its best. Experience Krakow. Visit Małopolska. We're wide open for meetings, for making introductions, exploring new possibilities, hosting events in person and online, for connecting passion and vision, to build opportunity, pursue perfection, 
and the ideas that make the world better. We operate in style, connecting people in a city of history and culture. Experience Krakow. Visit Małopolska. We're wide open for adventures, for something new, to thrill, refresh, explore, to push further, or go with the flow. Experience local vibes and stunning landscapes. Gain perspective, take it easy, or find your way to the top. Experience Krakow. Visit Małopolska. I'm actually a nerd in terms of academic. So I want to be the best on my field, which is a medical field. I want to be professor. Yes, a professor. Specifically talking about a cancer of the skin. Because that's also the way that I can relate to my miracle leukemia platform. So I can spread awareness about how to prevent the cancer itself. It's very clear for me. My biggest goal in life is to be happy and keep improving and growing as a person. And I work for that every day. Right now, I'm in a good moment in my life, both in my work and also in my personal life. Despite of that, I consider myself as a non-conformist person. So I want to continue fulfilling all the objectives and goals that I set myself. Learn about everything new that comes into my life, enjoy what life gives me, and of course, enjoy the process. For me, that's the key. My biggest goal in my life is to create a cocoon. I want a place where every people can be himself and welcome. This place is not only for family or friends, but meet new people. Of course, this is a project, but I do this every day in the restaurant or in the street. When I meet new people, I like to share my story and know history of other people. Uh, my biggest goal in life, the, my biggest goal in life is being the best version of myself and spread happiness and joy to whomever I know or meet in my life, be it my personal or professional life. Uh, my goal is to make other people feel good about themselves and about their backgrounds and environments. Um, I want to inspire whomever I know or meet with my optimism, my joy and my positive look on life and with my determination to pursue happiness and positivism um, no matter how many setbacks or obstructions life throws at you. To end, my goal is to keep fostering and cherishing love, family and friendships as the most valuable possession in life. So what's my ultimate goal in life? To be honest, my ultimate goal in life is to be happy. Happiness. It's achievable by, through a lot of things. Being physically active, taking care of your mental health, and being, uh, I would say, happy with your friends and family, take care of your relationships, and have gratitude for what you already got in your life. Because sometimes we forget about all the successes and happiness we already have in our lives. Let's give a warm welcome, it's Gromi and Sara Chmiel. Can I call you? Can I call you mine? Can I be the sun kissing your skin? I can be your, I can be your ocean. Even if you make you smile. And send me your love, I like a fire. If you can remember how we used to 
amazing amazing performance from DJ Grammy and Sarah Khmel which we totally totally enjoyed and I'm backstage here with our makeup glam squad and our representative from Puerto Rico and our representative from Belgium now gentlemen you didn't make it through to the final final round how are you feeling Mr Puerto Rico it's a it's a mixed feelings but I feel proud that my roommate is there Brazil I'm, I'm shouting for him I'm rooting for him uh, I'm really grateful for this experience I grew from it one year ago I wouldn't think about doing this being here I get a bunch of brothers now from this experience so I'm so excited for the guys over there I'm rooting for my guy I love all of them but I'm rooting for my guy that is so beautiful such team spirit rooting for his roommate how are you feeling Mr. Belgium we all made it until here we are we became a family we became brothers we are all winners the guys on stage they deserve it all so they have to give it their best and the best will win but we are all winners forever and family forever oh i love the positive spirit thank you so much gentlemen really wonderful representatives of this organization and now it's time for us to show some love for our sponsors Fundatorem Nagrody Głównej jest sponsor programu, producent wody mineralnej Muszynianka. Fundatorem Nagrody jest sponsor programu, właściciel marki Motus. Fundatorem Nagrody w programie jest jego sponsor, właściciel marki Prezydent. Fundatorem Nagród jest sponsor programu Jubiler Schubert. When he came here from the other side of the world last year, he didn't yet know that he would go home as Mr. Supranational 2022. Now he's back here in Nova Sonja after a full year as our brand ambassador of Mr. Supranational organization. Please let's welcome Luis Daniel Galvez back on the stage. brother <laughs> so good to see you again it feels like yesterday right it feels like it feels like <laughs> what is the most important lesson that you actually took and that you've learned during this whole year of reigning as mr supranational well i actually had a lot um i took fear at steps 
to go to the top. And I actually, um, Supranational gave me the tools to not just have dreams, but fight for them and defend it with all that I have. That is incredibly inspiring. Is there anyone you would like to thank in particular? Just right here, right now, this is your moment to do that. <laughs> so, no, it's a long list, it's a long list. Um, first of all, Supranational for the opportunity that I had. Um, my national, my organization, me, Semir Cuba, my directors, uh, Rafael, Prince, uh, Faria, that is back in Miami, my family, my friends. Um, I really learned the, the capacity and the strength that you get from when you have people that love you and support you by your side, you can do incredible things. And you did. Your whole year was Thank you. absolutely amazing. Congratulations. A round of applause for Mr. Supranational 2022. And although we will find out who the seventh Mr. Supranational is tonight, you will always remain an important part of our Supra family. Thank you, Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank Let's you. now go backstage where Joanne is already waiting for us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Martin. We're having lots of fun backstage celebrating, of course, this incredible man standing right next to me. And Mr. Tomasz Baranski was, of course, responsible for the incredible dance moves, all the routines. What was it like working with our misters this year, doing all the choreography? What was it like? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we had really, really great time, really. I don't know what's happened, but every year it gets better and better. Uh, maybe it means uh, world is easier, world is better. I think we need it. And I want to say thank you for that. I want to say thank you guys and good luck. Go ahead. Absolutely. Thank you very much, our star choreographer. And what a pleasure and a privilege to speak to you backstage because working with such a group of young men, of course, not everybody's a natural dancer, but I really think you put them through their paces, gave them the confidence. And once again, that's what Mr. Supranational is all about. It's about confidence, building inspiration and aspiration. And we thank you for doing that. We are slowly approaching the moment when we'll get to know who will advance to the top five and get the chance to become the next Mr. Supranational. But before that, our candidates will perform in front in their formal wear, accompanied by Effie and Matja Rosinski from band BMI. Let's give it up for them. Balancing time, I'm 
When I fall, you see the best in me, the joker and the queen. I'm so proud of the fact that there's also a platform for incredible, inspirational men like these who want to be positive role models to those who look up to them. The world certainly needs more of those. And I have to say I'm actually very proud as well <laughs> to be associated with Miss and Mr. Supranational Organization. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, if you were on the panel of experts, Martin, I have to ask you this. What criteria do you think would be the most important to you? Oh, I'm not <laughs> sure if I would like to have that responsibility on my back, mm -hmm. uh, but I can tell you it would be authenticity. I think um, that's a good one. It would one. be charisma. Mm -hmm. It would be, I guess, substance. Mm -hmm. Very true. Uh, that w those would be the qualities I would I would be celebrating, definitely. I, yeah. I think there might be space for you on the panel of experts. You sound like you know exactly what we're looking for. And I'm sure that our final five, who we are now going to be announcing, they will have all of those qualities which you spoke about in abundance. To deliver the results, we have none other than our brand new Miss Supranational 2023, Andrea Aguilera from Ecuador. Hello, my queen. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you again. In a moment from now, we'll already know the names of the candidates that are in the top five. Absolutely, and I think this is the point where we really, really are going to be sad to see some of the guys go, but this is a wonderful opportunity for those advancing into the top five. So Martin, first, into the top five. You wanna help me here? I can hear Brazil. Mm -hmm. Malaysia. Good, good, let's see who you're wanting. 
I can tell you that it starts with Mr. Supranational Cameroon. Oh, he looks so happy, isn't he? <laughs> happy and relieved, actually. <laughs> Joining him is Mr. Mr. Brazil! You worked hard and you made it happen. So welcome to the top five, Mr. Korea. With only two spots remaining, there's a space for you, Mr. It's Mr. Supranational Netherlands! The final man, the last man standing, so to speak, who remains in the running to become Mr. Supranational. That honor, it belongs to audience. Who would you give the place to? <laughs> it sounds quite unanimous on this side. Let's see if you're right. Hmm. Mr. Spain! <laughs> Congratulations to all the candidates who advance to the top five! And give a big shout out to all the guys who unfortunately were not nominated to the top five. Guys, you were amazing! Thank you so, so much! Thank you very much, guys. Thank you to all of you gentlemen who worked so hard. And to our five finalists standing in front of us, this is where it truly starts. This is how it's going to work from now on. We have 40 seconds for each of them to answer their questions. We have five finalists, six questions, and one opportunity for our panel of experts to make up their minds. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think it's time for us to take a break? No, time for questions. I just wanted to see if you're as excited as I am because we are a few more minutes closer to finding out who our winner is. So we'll have our final questions, randomly selecting numbers between one and six, and then Martin has the questions over there. He'll answer or ask the questions, and then each of them will answer their different questions. Martin, are you ready? 40 seconds that could change the course of your lives. I am absolutely ready because it's not be me who's going to answer those questions. <laughs> Gentlemen, you have numbers between one to six. Please, Mr. Cameron, choose your number. Number one. Number one, there we go. Mr. Cameroon, what is the best advice you received on your Mr. Supranational journey? Your time starts now. The best advice I received was from Andre Slade uh, the first day. He gave, he gave a speech about to be inspirational and aspirational. I mean, aspirational means that you strive for something. And inspirational means that you have the ability to inspire people around you. I 
was very influenced by this speech and uh, I adopt that as my motto. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Cameroon. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's see which number Mr. Korea chooses. You have numbers between two and six. What's your number? Uh, I'll go number three. Number three, and your question is, what is the most critical issue in the world today that you would wish to do something about, and why? Your time starts now. Uh, I thought that the, the world is now uh, encounter some kind of war. So we have to protect ourselves and then respect the someone who can protect me and my family. So me to me, uh, always uh, respect the soldiers and then the veterans, always. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Korea. Let's move to Mr. Spain. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Mr. Spain, please choose your number. Number five. Number five. And your question is, as a brand ambassador, what advice would you have to inspire young men in today's complicated world? We need a translator for Mr. Spain, please. There we go. Thank you very much for coming forward, sir. Would you like the question again? What, as a brand ambassador, what advice would you have to inspire young men in today's complicated world? Mr. Supranational Spain, ¿qué advice le puedes dar a la juventud en este momento cuando el mundo está teniendo tantos problemas? Dobre wieczór, Malopolska. El consejo. El consejo que le daría es que hay que sobreponerse a todos los problemas, a todas las adversidades, caerse y levantarse siempre y luchar por tus sueños porque eso es lo que te va a llegar a conseguir tus objetivos. Muchas gracias. The advice that I wanted to share with all the young people from all over the world is when you have any problems, you have to get up. The problems will make you a strong every day. Thank you very much, Mr. Spain. I'm here with Mr. Netherlands. Please choose your number. Lucky number two. Lucky number two. It takes two. What important qualities would you bring as brand ambassador to the Mr. Supranational organization? You have 40 seconds. They, the organization is searching for a person who can open his heart at any time, who can be the person who can be also in the same time an example for the world and to make the world kind of a better place. For, exa for example, the people, the children. I think being humble, opening your heart and being honest to the rest of the world, that will make you a gentleman that will make you the next Mr. Supranational. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Mr. Netherlands. All right, are you ready, Mr. Brazil? Please choose your number, you have four or six. I'm going with four. Number four, please. Number four it is. Mr. Brazil, what has been the biggest challenge in your life and how did you overcome it? Good evening, everyone. True life. Uh, of course, we always have ups and downs uh, during my career in swimming. Uh, I missed the Olympics for two hundreds of a second in 2012. So I had to work four more years to qualify for the 2016 Olympic Games. So even when you're struggling with it, just keep going, just keep your head up and you, you can achieve your dreams. Good evening. Thank you very much. So we've heard all of them. They have told their stories. They have done what they could to impress our panel of experts. But after the short break, we will be announcing who our seventh Mr. Supranational is.
Zostańcie Państwo z nami i po przerwie się widzimy. Takie emocje tylko w Polsacie. Difficult question, but for me, it's simple. It's to have a very rich life. And rich, in my way of thinking, is the fact uh, that life is a journey. A journey best traveled with loved ones. Loved ones, as in families and friends. To create a family, a known family. To create a good mindset, a fresh and healthy body and to explore different cultures and to travel the world. My biggest goal in life is being successful. I love to be on Forbes list. I love to have financial stability. I also love to have a happy home. And when I think about all these things, they're the things that keep me going and it makes me success driven, yeah. One of my biggest goals in life is to be successful in not only establishing my international coffee franchise, but to leave a legacy behind with my From the Ground Up project, Good Life Namibia, that's vision is to make an impact and influence so many people, young and old, to be the best version that they can be. That one day that I'm not here anymore, that legacy can continue to make a difference. And that is my biggest goal in life. One of my biggest goals is simply to live a balanced life where I can feel accomplished both in my personal and professional life. I truly believe that sometimes uh, chasing your dreams can be quite underrated according to society standards and I really don't want to get to my old days and look back in my life and feel like I didn't do enough, I didn't accomplish enough or that I didn't experience enough. This is why I'm taking every single opportunity that I can now that I have the luxury of time. As a matter of fact, for the past few months I have been traveling to different countries, experiencing new cultures, events, meeting new people and it has been one of the most enlightening experiences of my life. And all of the lessons that I have learned, I plan to use them not only for my personal and professional fulfillment, but also to live a life of service. It is, I guess, to be the best version of myself, that being able to live in the way of my choice, like I wrote to Mr. Super National 2023. And I am also about to have the strong physical and mind enough to be you to help author and society based on to happiness and I can what I love to do without bottling author. Mi mayor objetivo en la vida es obviamente concretar todas las metas que me propongo, pero fundamentalmente es tener salud, es estar acompañado de mi familia, eso es un gran objetivo que ya vengo cumpliendo hace muchos años, eh, que gocen de una buena vida, ser feliz, ser libre, y pero otro objetivo que tengo también es ganar el Mr. Supranational. ¿Cuál es el mayor objetivo de mi vida? I will give you the most cliche answer that exists. It is success. And I'm sure that most of the contestants have provided this uh, answer. This is simply because, that is because of the fact that the society had made clear to us that we should all strive for success. No, without success, you are nothing. Uh, but me, the more interesting question that should be asked is by which means do we intend to achieve that success? Um, do you want to do like the good old days where you no know, you are doing your show you are doing your business without taking care of people around you or have you acknowledged that there are people surrounding you who needs to live also we have to share the planet with them that should be an interesting question my biggest goal in life is to be safe 
I think everyone deserves have equal rights to feel safe. And I want to live a life having peace, joy, and sometimes very quiet moment. And I think everybody deserves it. One of my biggest goals in the future is to become a good, inspirational person to others. I want to be one of the most well-known person in both nationwide and internationally. Famous for my talent and capability, especially to be a good role model or good influence on the new generation. My biggest goal in life at the moment will be developing guidelines for parents with older children so they feel more comfortable raising their kids. A social cause that lies close to my heart will be the Moscow Dystrophy Association. I worked here around five years and gave me the chance to grow as a person and have more empathy around the people that have functional diversity. My best fitness tip, that will be spending time at the gym, focusing on having a year, two years, a month. Not focus on the weight or the muscle that you want to grow, just focus on having the time. That's when you're going to see the change. That will be my best fitness tip. When I think about my life goals, two come to mind. The first one being my three to five year plan, where I plan on assisting the Mr. Supernational South Africa platform becoming more. Welcome one more time from Novosont Małopolska. In just few minutes, we will find out who the next Mr. Supranational 2023 is. <laughs> Absolutely. But Martin, before we do that, we do have five very important awards to give to the gentlemen from the geographical and continental regions who did not place in the top five, but awarded top, top marks were awarded to them in their particular continents and geographical regions. So you have the envelope there with our names. We're going to start off with Mr. Supranational 2023 for the Africas. Are we the ready? The African region, Africa is what am I saying? I'm so excited. I'm getting confused, okay. Are we ready? We are so ready. <laughs> Let's do it. So from Africa, our highest placing contender. Well done to him. And he is. Please step forward when I call out your name. You are our continental and geographical winner for Africa. Mr. South Africa. Congratulations, Mr. South Africa. Mr. Supranational Africa. The next winner of Mr. Supranational Continental title is representing Americas. It's Mr. Mexico. Congratulations, Mr. Mexico. Mr. Supranational Americas, Mr. Mexico. And that brings us to our Mr. Supranational for Asia. And he is Mr. Thailand.
Congratulations, Mr. Thailand, Miss Supranational Asia. Only two titles left. Representing Caribbean, the winner of Mr. Supranational Caribbean 2023 is Mr. Trinidad and Tobago. brings us to our Mr. Supranational for Europe. And the winner of that prestigious title for 2023 is Mr. Who do you think? Czech Republic. Mr. Czech Republic, Mr. Supranational Europe. Congratulations. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Congratulations to you all. In just a few minutes, we will find out who the next Mr. Supranational 2023 is. Please stay tuned. Co by było, gdybyś wyruszył w podróż do niezwykłych miejsc, przeżył wspaniałą przygodę i odkrył dla siebie coś wyjątkowego? Zachwycające miejsca, które sprawią, że poczujesz się wolny i zaczniesz patrzeć na świat zupełnie inaczej. Co by było, gdybyś znalazł się w miejscach, o których słyszałeś, ale nie miałeś okazji ich odwiedzić? W których poczujesz spokój, radość i chęć do działania? W miejscach, gdzie natura współgra z człowiekiem, pozwala zwolnić tempo i dać sobie prawo do relaksu. A gdybyś przeniósł się do krainy niezapomnianych emocji i pozytywnej energii, które na długo pozostaną w pamięci? Co by było, gdybyś na co dzień mógł obcować z kulturą i sztuką, które kształtują wrażliwość i inspirują w codziennym życiu? Gdybyś zobaczył to, co zachwyca swoim pięknem, i przypomina o sprawach w życiu najważniejszych. Co by było, gdybyś znalazł miejsce, w którym możesz być sobą? Gdzie czujesz się szczęśliwy i bezpieczny? Co by było, gdybyś mógł nazwać to miejsce domem? Co by było, gdybyś został tu na dłużej?
We are back and it's time to announce the winner of Mr. Supranational 2023. Absolutely. And I'm going to give you one last chance to see if you have any influence with our judges. So let's hear it for Mr. Cameroon. Let's hear it for Mr. Brazil. Now let's hear it for Mr. Korea. Let's hear it for Mr. Netherlands. And finally, let's hear it for Mr. Spain. Who is it going to be tonight? Ale zanim poznamy zwycięzcę, podziękujmy naszym sponsorom. Fundatorem Nagrody Głównej jest sponsor programu, producent wody mineralnej Muszynianka. Fundatorem Nagrody jest sponsor programu, właściciel marki Motus. Fundatorem Nagrody w programie jest jego sponsor, właściciel marki Prezydent. Fundatorem Nagród jest sponsor programu Jubiler Schubert. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, as our current reigning Mr. Supranational, show your appreciation for Luis Daniel Galvez from Cuba. Lewis, please join us. We want to know what is the advice you have for those five guys who actually are for your job. <laughs> As I always said since the beginning, it's simple. Be honest. Be yourself. Believe in your dreams. And you're going to create something beautiful from here. So it's simple. Thank you. Very inspirational. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it is time now for us to get the final results. And to bring them, we have our gorgeous new Miss Supranational 2023. Put your hands together for Andrea Aguilera from Ecuador. Can I have the results? Thank you very, very much. While we have you here, our Miss Supranational, Andrea, please do tell us, what has the reaction been like thus far? You won just a few moments ago, a few days ago. What has the reaction been like for you to your crowning as your country and our world's Miss Supranational? I still can't believe it. I'm in shock. Uh, it's just one day since that. And I'm so happy. I'm so proud. So proud for my Ecuadorian people that always were supporting me. They were super strong in social media and everything. And I'm so happy to stay here in Poland. Thank, thank you so much, Poland, for all your love. Thank you very much. That is so amazing. We are so honored to be with you on stage. Thank Absolutely. You. Now, Martin, it is time, and I'm going to ask you to announce the name of our fourth runner-up. I'm certainly ready for that. Okay, good, 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 <laughs> good. Let's see if our predictions are right. I think the audience have got their favorites. Everyone in this crowd has been rooting so much for their favorite candidates. It's a pleasure for me to introduce you to the fourth runner-up. And it's Mr. Cameroon.
The third runner-up is Mr. Korea. to announce the second runner-up. And that is Mr. Supranational Netherlands. Marszałka Województwa Małopolskiego. Tytuł Mr. Supranational 2023 wręczy pani Jadwiga Wójtowicz, radna województwa małopolskiego. Zapraszamy panią Jadwigę na scenę. Dobry wieczór pani Jadwigo. Martin? Shall we? It's been a long couple of weeks, months of preparation for these young men. And now it is the moment, the time, where we announce the name of our new Mr. Supranational 2023. Let's do it. <sighs> the so only countries left mm -hmm. are... Mr. Brazil and Mr. Spain. You Do can I... literally cut the tension in this room with a knife. I think everyone's on, everyone's on the seat of the edge of their seats. I see the cell phones are out. Everyone wants to share this moment. Let's find out. Let's tell them who the winner is. And Mr. Supranational 2023 is Mr. Spain! Congratulations, Mr. Spain! Chcielibyśmy również dodać, że Mr. Supranational Spain otrzyma także hulajnogę elektryczną ufundowaną przez sponsora programu, właściciela marki Motus. Thank you very much, Mr. Spain. Let's not forget, please let's not forget, the first runner-up who came so close to the title tonight, it's Mr. Brazil! Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's show our new Mr. Supranational 2023 some huge love. And I think I think we want to have a little chat with you because I think this is a moment that doesn't repeat itself in one's lifetime. How are you feeling? And I don't think you're going to need a translator now. Huh? <laughs> I have no words. I only want to, to thank you to all my national organization to be here with me. And of course, my parents and my... Uh, my friends that uh, are always supporting me. 
Thank you so much. Novisange, show your love for the new Mr. Super National as he will take his first one as our brand ambassador. Ależ to była cudowna noc, pełna wrażeń i emocji. Absolutely, Martin. That's it from our side. It was a huge pleasure being your co-host tonight, and I hope to be back next year. I hope you are going to be back next year. Good night, everyone. Thank you to everyone around the world watching us tonight. And of course, dziękujemy bardzo serdecznie naszym kochanym widzom Polsatu. Dziękujemy całej fantastycznej ekipie, która pracuje od bardzo, bardzo dawna przy tym wydarzeniu. Dziękujemy i dobranoc Państwu. Dobranoc and dziękuję.